Sherman? It seems Mariana was defeated and scurried back to us with her tail between her legs. Her loyal minion was not so fortunate. Yes, last I heard she was undergoing medical treatment. This means I'm the last heavenly czar standing. Since it all comes down to me, even if it costs me my life, I'll... Spare me. I haven't expected anything from you since the moment we met. Agreed, Commander Sherman. However, even someone like him may prove useful in advancing our cause. In the hands of a clever man, razors and fools have their uses. So they say. Ah, I've heard that saying before. Um, am I supposed to be the razor or the Figure that out for yourself. In the meantime, I will tell you the details of our plan. Yes, of course. Things have really taken a turn for the worse. Are you sure you're going to be all right? I mean, a sniveling coward like you? Shut up! You be quiet! Uh, hello? Uh, hi, sweetie! It's Daddy! Uh, can you pass the phone to Mommy? Is that you, Setsuko? I just wanted to tell you that I love you. The sun may set and the moon may wane, but my love for you remains ever constant. I am and always will be yours. Forever. Goodbye. That was pretty cool of you. Looks like you've made up your mind. But if you really love your wife that much, you don't have to go through with this, you know. What do you mean? You could always abandon the company. Hmm. and we have the faith drop. Now, we can perform the ritual to revive the goddess. Right, Tiara? Yes. 
Excuse me, Mr. Fine. It seems you have a guest. Guest? But I was just about to leave. Help me! You're with Dorfa! Isn't he one of the four heavenly czars? Why would he come all the way here? Wait, is this another ambush? That's not it. I came here alone. I have no intention of fighting any of you. We don't have time to fight you anyway. Not when Dorfa's hunting us down. Let me guess. Dorfa finally got sick of your screw-ups and you ran away before they could tie up any loose ends. That does sound like something Dorfa would do. That's right! Hold it! Are you really going to believe his story? We have no reason to trust him! I'm telling the truth! I've already been declared an enemy of Dorfa! I'll prove it to you by showing you where Dorfa's vulnerable! Please, you have to defeat them! Where they're vulnerable? Yes! Dorfa has a secret storage facility hidden within the Zapelia Valley. A secret storage facility in the Zapelia Valley, huh?
storage facility better be here. It is! It's located in the depths of this valley. Every record of Dorfa's unethical business practices has been stored there in pristine condition for generations. If that information leaked to the public, Dorfa's stock would plummet, and they'll be forced to file for bankruptcy. I don't know about you guys, but I still don't trust him. I agree. Men like him have no qualms about telling self-serving lies. <laughs> Looks like you're not very trustworthy, Paiga. Shut up! You're one to talk. Even if he's lying, it's fine. If there's a trap waiting for us, we'll just beat the crap out of Paiga. <laughs> Exactly. If this young lad has truly set a cunning trap for us, I will crush it to pieces. We're so close to performing the ritual to revive the goddess. There's no way I'd let Dorfa stop us now. Mm. <sighs> Let's go!
It never existed, and now, this place will become your grave. Whoa. What's that sound? A landslide. There really was a trap awaiting us. I knew he was lying! <laughs> That's right. I've been leading you into a trap this whole time. One press of this button was all it took. This place is going to collapse any minute, and soon you'll all be crushed to death. Hey, they don't look too surprised about this. Well, it was really obvious. Hey, if you stand so close to us, won't you get crushed too? Huh, <laughs> fools. Lord Sherman has promised to teleport me to safety using a return wing. But Sherman doesn't seem like the type of person who would do that. <laughs> yeah. He told me send a useless peon to their death and not think twice about it. Truly, he has no regard for those weaker than him. He definitely wouldn't lose any sleep over sacrificing one of his minions. Ah, uh, you guys totally nailed it. Pika is definitely expendable. Uh, uh... Please excuse me. Nobody make a move, or I'll press this button again. Now, you guys just stay where you are while I move to a safer position. I don't think so. Kiwi! Whoa, what the... Oh no, the button! When did that creature get behind me? While you were monologuing, I had my fairy sneak behind your back. Your luck ends here. Nice one, Tiara. Oops, I should have known something like this would happen. Damn it! How dare you trick me! I could say the same for you. Looks like the trickster got tricked this time. Leading us into a trap isn't even original. I mean, Mariana already tried that, so it's not like we weren't expecting this. That's why I didn't really care one way or another if this turned out to be a trap. 
Damn you! I just have to defeat you with my true power! Vivian, let's go! Oh, brother. I guess I have no choice. Mess you up! Let's do this!
now much stronger <laughs> I've become stronger now then looks like we're done here that seems to be the case please spare my life I have a smoking hot wife and an adorable little girl that's right! Killing him isn't worth the trouble at all! Fine, whatever. I'll spare your life. Just hurry up and get the hell out of here. Don't ever show your face around us again! I advise you to stay out of our way from this moment forward. You might as well quit, Norfa. Then you won't be forced to do suicide missions like this. That may be true. But I still need a job so I can provide for my lovely wife and cute little girl. Well, you're just gonna have to find a new job somewhere else. After all, I'm gonna bring down Dorfa for good. Ah, uh, understood. I'll quit Dorfa and never bother you again. I'll move somewhere far away and live a happy life with my wife and daughter. Hey! Don't leave me here! All he did was waste our time. What a drag. Look, it's... Sherman. The time has come. Let's settle this once and for all, Fang. I know exactly how you feel. Ever since I met you, I knew I'd end up fighting you one day. Likewise. Fate is such an unpleasant thing. Once I've severed these chains of destiny, I will finally be free. Do it, Fang! I'll help you out too, eh? Echo will fight too. Back off. I want to fight him one on one. Why did you hold back? I... I did it! Yes, you did. Your sword contained no malice. Why is that? Were you trying to show me mercy? How humiliating for both of us! Lost. Stop complaining and just kill me already. Are you trying to shame me? If I cut you down now, it would do little more than sully my reputation. I'll withdraw for now. Your defeat must be nothing short of glorious. Until that day comes. When Sherman was our ally, his honorable side was an asset. But now that he's our enemy, it's really messing things up. <laughs> You're pathetic. Didn't you say you would protect me? How is showing mercy to your enemy supposed to accomplish that? It's delusional to think you can revive the goddess by acting so childish. You don't have to be so harsh, Tiara. Silence! No one is talking to you. <laughs> How much longer are you going to stay depressed? Are you nothing more than a sniveling eunuch? Shut up! I can put up with your bitching, but now you've gone too far! Next time I fight Sherman, I'll take it more seriously and wipe the floor with him. Even if 
surviving the goddess will be super easy. Easier than raising tadpoles into full-grown frogs! You can't really compare frogs to a goddess. Well, the details don't really matter. More importantly, I'm confident that Dorfa will continue their merciless assault against us. I'm guessing they'll resort to even cruder tactics than they've been using. Our fight is poised to become more perilous than before. We must prepare accordingly. Yeah, I know. Let's just hurry up and finish this crap already. Once that's done, I'm gonna be the one who changes your fate, Tiara. That sounds like the thing I know. It was worth sounding so unladylike to cheer you up. All right, let's go revive the goddess. All right, let's do this! Aaron, we need to go to the goddess's sanctuary first. Yeah, let's make way for the heart of the Kafari Desert.
over you!